What's up everyone? Chris here, back with a brand new video. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys, as you guys can see in the title, um, how to make your Rust server public and to port forward your Rust server. Now this is the same as every other game, but some people don't know. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that today. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Let's see if we can shoot for five likes on this video. But without further ado, let's get into it. So as you guys may know, your server might be started up or running or you have a server and no one can join or you're having issues getting people to join. Your friends are joining and they're saying there's no such server but yet you can join, you can play, but they just can't see it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that your server IP is set and your Archon IP is set to 0000. Make sure it's set to that. After that, you're going to want to check the server port and the Archon port because these two things can be mixed up if you don't have them done correctly. We're going to need the server port and the server Archon port for this video. So make sure you guys have the server port and server Archon port wrote down or just copy it or leave this up because that's what we're going to be using. So first thing we're going to need to do is run our command prompt. In this video, some things are going to be blurred out for my permissions. And if anything is unblurred, then that stuff is not going to be any, is not going to be any, it's not going to have any effect. It's just private information. So you guys, so people don't access my computer or anything like that. You know what I mean? So without further ado, let's get in. Um, what we're going to need is the default gateway. Now this is going to make you be able to access your router and this is where you're going to need to open the ports. So let's put it this way. Your router is a door. Okay. And make, we're going to go into the door. Basically, I guess you could say your router's the room. We're going to go into the room because we can access this room and we're going to open a port, which is basically like opening a door for the game for people to access that server and play on that server so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our router right now we're gonna need the default gateway which is mine is 192.1 so I'm gonna load up here we're gonna go to google.com to load up Google just real quick you guys don't have to it's just my home page is kind of a stupid Yahoo air page or something like that right now um, and then we're gonna point 192.168.1.1 we're gonna load that up some stuff is gonna be blurred out on the screen but that stuff may not be blurred out on your guys's uh, router your router may look different now if your router looks different that's fine I recommend you snooping around a little bit don't change anything just snoop around a little bit try to find anything that says port forwarding or um, open ports or anything to do with gaming ports look there but as you guys can see on my screen some stuff is going to be blurred out which is mainly around IP address and gateway IP address and you know DNS stuff everything is going to be blurred out there on the, on my screen but what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to port forwarding and port triggering. Now this is the this is where we're going to open the door. This is how we can open the door. Now if your router has a password, usually you guys can find out your router's password online or ask whoever runs the router. If you guys can't access it when it says the password's there, you guys can ask somebody and somebody may be able to help you in your house if they know the password. If they don't know the password to get into the router, Google it. Usually it's set to the default password. Mine, I changed myself. But anyways, let's get into it. So as you guys can see here, I have uh, Gary's Mod already port opened, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this just for the sake of this video, just for the heck of it. I'm going to delete it. Start with a fresh open port, no ports open type theme here. And we're going to test it out. So um, it's going to take a second for everything to load for me uh, in my router right now. It's take, turning off that port and it's deleting it. So, okay. So your server IP address. Now this is where we're going to need to look on here and it's going to be your IPv4 address. We're going to need to keep notes of that. So right here it's 192.168.199. Okay guys, so we're inside of our router right now. We're going to add a custom service. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to open the service right here. We're going to type in the service name. Uh, it may look different on your guys's. It, do, it will be different on mine, but Netgear is the one I'm using right now for my router. So I'm going to name it Rust Server. And we're going to put we're going to look back here and see the two ports 28015 and 28016. For the sake of this, we're just going to put 28015 and the ending port is 28015. Now, when it says server IP address, you're probably wondering, well, I want my IP address for my server there. I just want to put my server IP there. Wrong. You want to go back to the command prompt and look at your IPv4 or V6 uh, or yeah, IPv4 address and just look at what the number is at the end. The end number on mine is 199. Your guys's may look a little different. 
if it does look different just put that number in there simply as that I click apply and what's it what it's gonna do is it's gonna make that port open for the server that's gonna be the server port but I want to access my rust admin tool and if you guys don't use rust admin tools then you guys don't need to do this part but I really want to use it and I I'm gonna open this port as well 28016 so I'm gonna follow the same steps I'm gonna add a custom service I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna go rust archon Port. I'm gonna name it Rust Archon port. 28016 is the port that we saw. 016, tab 28016. And again, 199. So it's opening the port strictly for my computer. So anybody on my network, if they did IP config, their IPv4 address would look a lot different. It would be a different number at the end. And this is strictly opening it for my computer just in case somebody else on any other computer in my network runs up their server it doesn't conflict with anything going on on my network so now that the ports are open we've port forwarded our server so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out we're gonna go down here I'm gonna pause the video so I can log into my steam and open up rust so just give me a moment here and I'll be doing that so right now I'm loading up rust so just give me a moment here Rust should open up um, so I'm just going to go on fastest right now, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to go on fastest at 1280 by 720. I'm going to pause the video here and, uh, I believe you guys will be able to, uh, see the screen once I start recording using fraps. So please hold on just one moment and I will show you guys that your server is working 100% fine. And, uh, I'll, make, I'll show you guys how you guys can access it and how you guys can give your IP out to other people. So we're going to click play and hopefully your servers oh I made a mistake here my servers not even running so I'm gonna go here uh, go to my server folder and I'm gonna start the dash example folder and it should start up the server make sure your server is running by the way guys and if you guys do open your ports you guys every time you guys open your port you guys do not need to restart the server at all um, I basically just shut off the server right now uh, just for the sake of the video, but now I'm starting it back up. I don't have any plugins on this video right now, but I do have a video on plugins, which is in the link uh, in the description. Um, let me turn down the game volume real quick. Hopefully, uh, here. Okay, we turned down the game volume there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna load up the server and uh, yeah, so we're gonna sit here and wait for it to load up. I apologize for the long time. It does take a while for uh, your servers to start up and if you guys want to, I'm well, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna pause the video here and start it up when the server starts loading up. Okay guys, so our server's up and loaded and running completely fine. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna load into the game I'm gonna show you guys the servers up and running and then I'm gonna show you guys how to make it so your friends can join alright guys sadly rust keeps crashing but anyways let's skip that part um, with rust crashing and everything like that and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to give out your IP to your friends so they're able to join so without further ado let's get into that part so first thing you're gonna want to do is as simple as this Google what my IP now as you guys are gonna see on screen that some information is gonna be blurred out as you guys can see on screen there is a line here that is blurred out um, that's gonna stay blurred out if it does not if your IP address does not show up here and it doesn't say your public IP address is or your public IP address and above that there's no no there's nothing there well you guys can go to what's my IP org and it'll say at the top right of the screen as you guys can see here my IP address is displayed that is the IP address you guys are gonna want to send to your friends and also they will be able to join after you send them that if you guys if they don't know how to connect um, if they do not know how to connect directly they press F11 go to the console type connect space your IP address two colon there two basically they'll type this your IP dot two eight zero one five and that's how they'll be able to connect and it, that should help you get your friends to connect and join your game so I hope I helped you guys if you guys have any questions make sure you guys drop them in the comments below because I do read everyone's comments and I do get back to everybody if your question isn't answered within 24 hours I've probably already answered that question so make sure you guys check the uh, comments below to see if any questions have been answered that you've already asked 
um that's it guys thank you guys for watching this video make sure you guys drop a like on the video like i said in the beginning let's try to hit five likes and make sure you guys subscribe to join the frosty army i'm chris and i'll see you guys in the next video